Hey, Shawnee from SpeedCubeView.com. So I've got an unboxing from Chi Yi. Now, this, I know exactly what this is. This is their new 4x4. I believe it's pronounced the Wu Kui. Um, I, I might be pronouncing that way wrong. Oh, my name's on there. It's awesome. So, anyone who keeps trying to spell my name, that's how you spell it. Good job, Chi Yi. Now, this 4x4, it's... It's really gotten some attention, mainly because Felix Zemdegs, he has been using his uh, Aosu for like years. He hasn't switched to anything, but the last competition, I really believe the Melbourne Cube competition, he used this and he got a 26.59 average, which is just about half a second away from a world record. And stickerless, Whew, thank you for getting stickerless. All right, so this cube is 62 millimeters. Um, normally a mini cube fan, but I've used my fair share of full-size 4x4s. Um, outer layer is a little bit bigger. It definitely feels super light right now. And nice and smooth and controllable. Ooh, what about corner cutting? out of the box, line to line, middle layers. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Okay, let's let's scramble this up. So I like the feel of this plastic. Um, if you saw my unboxing of some of the, there's like a budget skew and a budget pyramid that came out, so the plastic felt kind of frosted. Um, this doesn't feel as much as that, but it it's got a really nice soft touch to it. So just as far as turning, it's not insanely fast. Like it doesn't feel controllable, but it's faster than most four by fours out of the box you would see. Um, it's, it's fast enough to where I don't feel like it's catching on anything. I mean, that's just smooth right there. So I'm going to do just a really quick solve. I guess I'll talk through it so it's not going to be super, um, super fast because I'm just going to talk as I do it. But so far, this is just, this feels really nice. Um, I'm not really getting any major catches with this. It's... Um, I mean, as far as 4x4s go, it, it's really smooth out of the box. The only catching I'm getting is just from a little, some inaccurate turning. I'm not getting any clicks or anything like that. Um, oh, this is really bad Hoyer solve. Don't, don't <laughs> look at this and, and assume this is how I normally would uh, be doing this because this is, this is not my best right now. So let's see here, do, do, do. especially because I'm also trying to stay in focus of the camera. But wait, what am I doing there? Ooh, no parodies. So it's almost too loose for myself right now. Um, I might tighten it down a little bit more. And I feel like, because there were a couple times that it, it wanted to flex like that, that it got a little bit caught. But other than that, this, this might be taking over um, as a lot of people's mains. I don't, I don't think this will be able to be altered to a 40, or not 40, a 60 millimeter puzzle, just because that that looks pretty thin right there. You never know, sometimes they're able to figure some things out. But um, I'll have to practice with this. I definitely, definitely like the feeling of it. Have to get used to the slightly bigger size, so that's not my normal normal size that I would use. Okay, 
So, <laughs> so basically, this is the Chi Wokui Woku 4x4. Um, someone actually just put it down in the comment section below how to pronounce that. Corner cutting is quite decent. Um, forward, especially middle layers. Middle layers are really nice. I sometimes on other 4x4s, when I get too far, I feel like it's going to pop. When I get too far here, it just stops. Which that's been the the Wu line, W U, have all kind of been like that. They don't seem to want to pop too much, but they just want to stop when it gets too far. Speed's pretty nice. I'm sure this will get even better breaking in some lube. Um, yeah, there's there's like nothing it catches on. Um, internal. This is probably the smoothest and most controllable out of the box 4x4 I've ever used. All right. Thank you very much, Chi. I'll put a link in the description where you can either purchase this or pre-order this. Whoa, that was a random jump cut. So I was finishing up the video and then I did some solves and I realized I had some extra thoughts. So I just want to sort of finish up this video with, you know, some more tests that I did. So I'm doing on average of five on my cubing time competition, my weekly competition. If you haven't checked out cubing time, go check it out. Um, it's really fun. And here's, this is the best solve I have of the four. So the cube was actually quite loose out of the box. And I spent, I, I tightened it a little bit and it, it performs a lot better for my preference. But I was, I didn't realize how loose it was because it wasn't popping. It wasn't flexing. So if you like four by fours on looser tensions, this will seem to work perfectly. I'm still really surprised that there's like really no internal catching or movement at all. Like I can't even feel internal pieces moving. And there's normally, what, like almost a hundred pieces in a four by four. So that's really pretty impressive. As far as the plastic, like I said, I guess it's the exact same plastic, but I was just talking with Chi Yi and they said they did something with the mold that makes it, uh, some, something's different about it. They're kind of vague, but I guess it is the same plastic, but yeah, it feels nicer. I really like it. Um, that's kind of about it. After using it for a little bit, I got used to the 62 millimeter size and really the three by three stage flows extremely well on this. I think it's the larger outer layers that make it still feel pretty controllable in the hand. And so that really is no problem. And this definitely will be something that I would use as my main at a competition if I had a competition tomorrow. I'm going to put links to Chi's Facebook page and the YouTube page, so definitely check them out. I want to make sure they get a plug in this because they did send me this straight from their factory. I'm going to try to get a review, a full review on this in about a week. I've got a lot of other things I'm pumping out right now, but I'll try to get that pretty fast for you guys. If you have any questions on it, please leave them in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.